There's a variety of different ways to require certain things from your users. One of the simple ways of requiring things vis-a-vis -vis system requirements is to go ahead in the settings area here and click on system requirements. So let's go ahead and set up some requirements for our application. All right, as you can see here, there's choice of operating systems. We're going to go ahead and leave that set to any OS, but you can go ahead and toy around with that. We're going to focus more on some of the stuff on the right here. And of course, again, this is just a demonstration and, and to really get a, um, some insight into how this works, it's good to go through an experiment. So let's go ahead and raise up the RAM, for example, to some ridiculously high number, just so we can trigger an alert and we know how it works. And maybe same thing with the screen width. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this, this works here. Now, uh, quickly before we audition it, we'll just look at what the additional things are here. We can basically require, just by with a couple clicks here in this screen, uh, specified screen resolution or screen color depth, as well as RAM requirements and administrative privileges. Now, in general, uh, depending on what you're doing, you're probably going to leave this user must have administrative privileges checked um, so that you can make sure that the person that's installing this on the machine uh, should be installing things on that machine. Okay, now we also have uh, a choice here for the user not notification. We can warn them and allow them to continue or we can just abort the setup. Let's go ahead and set up the uh, notify user and abort setup. We'll press OK. We'll go ahead and publish this project now. and then we're going to go ahead and run it. As you can see what happens here is we didn't meet the requirements. It automatically checked for us and created this dialog. It says the following requirements were not met. It gives us a couple of details as to what the problem was and it tells us what the requirements are that we're going to need and it warns us that it's about to abort and we press OK. That's the end of that. So let's take a look at the exact same thing but with the warn user and continue option selected just for reference go ahead and publish this. Just a couple different ways of handling uh, the situation basically. We'll go ahead and run that setup. As you can see here it gives us the same alert but when we press OK it allows us to go ahead and proceed with the process. So that's some quick ways to require uh, system requirements from your users and your applications. For example if you're deploying applications that are uh, graphic sensitive uh, and uh, maybe processor sensitive. For example, if you're uh, deploying an application and you know that it needs 64 megs of RAM minimum, you can just go ahead and type 64 into that area, check the news, uh, notify user and abort setup option, press OK, build your application, and you can be uh, you can feel very safe that in the end your application is not going to be installed on machines that don't meet your requirements. In this particular case I have 64 megabytes so um, you can see that it actually went through the process. But at any rate that's how to require system requirements and it's a quick easy way to do it. You can also do advanced variations on this using actions but this is a, a very quick way to go ahead and add some basic functionality to your setups.